Hello everyone. Welcome to practice test training. In this session, we will learn about creating and managing your test cases in practice test. So in the previous session, we have learned about software testing lifecycle and how different modules of practice test can help you organize your test cases, your requirements, test sets and run very efficiently within practice test. So in order to go to test library or create and manage your test cases, you just go to the test library tab at the top next to the requirements and it will open the test library user interface or page in the practice test. So to create a new test, you have an option here, uh, the button at the top. So you can you see the drop down, either you can create a new test from here, a requirement, a new test, a new issue. So in order to create a new test, just click on that plus new test and it will open a test template when you can add the test name. So for example, I'll say verify successful login and I'll put the general description here and then you select the status so by default the draft status you can select because you are still documenting the test case you can select the folder where you want to put this test case so for example you have folder structuring based on the feature then you can add this test case against a particular feature so I'll put this in submit application I can add the tags here you can add the test level from the drop down so I'll say regression um, add the testing phase this is integration product component so for example which component this particular test case belongs to so this is most uh, successful login is usually in like mostly it will be a web UI um, client so I'll say web client and then browser so once you select all these um, mandatory fields you can select the attachments if there are any relevant attachments that you want to add then you can just select the button you can choose the file and then attach the file once you're done with this you can go to the steps and click on add a step here and start adding the steps against the test case so successful login is basically what would be the basic steps to create a test case so the first step would be launch the login URL in browser and the step will be so you can say open i browser and type in the application login url and then expected result is user should be able to open login URL page um, similarly you can go ahead and keep adding further test steps to create the test case and then once you are done with that you can go to the traceability and link the requirements if there are requirements that are relevant uh, to this test case so basically there if you are writing any of the test case it will be against some of the requirement so you can select the requirement here you can add a new requirement or you can just say show requirements and based on say application server and then add that particular requirement so that user functions will be linked to this test case so once you are done with that you just click on save changes and if you go to the test library again you'll see verify successful login test case being created All right so 
the first tab here is the filters tab you can manage the filters we'll go through the details of the filter and editing the filter in later sessions but um, you can see all the tests are assigned to you um, or based on different statuses or based on different test levels based on different test modules so all those things are available in the filters next feature is folder structuring so for example in your application you want to structure your test cases based on different features so you can create different um, different folders for a particular feature and add your test cases in that particular folder so you it will be in like more organized so for once you click on submit application you will see only the test cases that are relevant to that particular feature I come back to filters and say all tests here is the button for refreshing the view so if anything changes you can you know, like refresh uh, the view to see the latest updates on the test cases you can clone the test cases so there are two options to clone the test case you can directly select a test or just click on this button so for example I want to clone verify successful login test case I'll just click on this small icon here and then just save the changes so a copy of that test case will be created so you see number 16 with ID 16 copy of verify successful login has been created with the same status um, if you want to batch edit so you have to select multiple test cases so for example you want to do edits in multiple test cases you want to change the status of all of those to something or run status then you can select multiple and then click on batch edit and then you can change the so after selecting the batch edit you just select the um, checkbox whichever you want to edit and then you can choose what status you want to change to or if you want to change the folder for those test cases you can select folder as well and then select so whatever field you want to change just sel select the checkbox and change that field and then click on update so now you'll see under application server you will see different uh, test cases accordingly um, the next thing is create a test set so you can from here itself from this page itself you can select multiple test cases and you can say create a test set for these test cases so you can assign to a user I'll say test set 2 and then you can select when these test cases are planned to be executed so I'll say 5th of February and which folder you want to structure so there are no currently no folders here um, select the version against which version you want to execute these test cases and what test level these test cases belong to so if they are in like regression test cases then just assign the test level assign the testing phase and save the changes so all these test cases will be added to the test set so you can see like four of the test cases have been added to the test set and they will be assigned to me going back to the test library if you want to delete the test cases you can either click on this small delete icon against any of the test case it will ask you uh, to a confirmation if you click ok that particular test case will get, get deleted if you want to do bulk delete you select multiple test cases and click on click on delete icon right so it will again ask for the confirmation you want to permanently delete these three tests then you just type delete to confirm and then click on this red button and will delete the rest three test cases as well the next important feature in the test library is print print is really nice feature which will print all the details of your test cases so for example it will print the description uh, it will print the steps and all other whom the test cases are assigned what the status is 
basically if you select the test cases that you want to print I'll select just two and then click on print it will create a nice PDF report with all the details so now you can see it printed the project who created that um, the time zone date and then what the test ID was and then whether it was run not run with all the details of status author when it was created when it was updated what was the run status etc um, along with the histories and the steps so it provides you know like pretty comprehensive detail about the test cases you can take a print out and have a read of these test cases so that's pretty much about the um, uh, test library feature in Practitest. In further sessions, we'll learn about test sets and test runs. Thank you.